What time does the afternoon post usually arrive, please? Excuse me, monsieur. The. You will stop while I look at the post. Bien, monsieur, la poste arrive à 16 heures de nuit. Merci. Merci. Il said half past four. Merci. Your turn. I hope you've got enough money to pay me. Oh, Scott's always never show the ways of making money. I remember I once paid a boy a shilling a day to do his mourning for him. His mother had just died, and he was finding it rather uphill work to look solemn, especially as the football season had just started, so I volunteered to do his mourning for him. Maybe every day I used to swap my green jacket for his black one, and I'd go and stand in the corner of the playing field, and I'd squeeze my fist in one eye like this. The tears would come out the other way. He ran gaily off to play football. You tell him. Ten francs, you owe me. Do you want another game? Mm hmm. Can you afford it? No. Oh, I'm crying. It makes me go all misty inside. But nothing much makes me cry anymore. I used to lots, but not anymore. I bet I can make you cry. I bet you can't. Ten francs. Done. Am I for a story? No, no, just a thought. About me? About your father. You can't make me cry about him. I thought I would forever, but I didn't at all except for a bit. Mother still cries, though, doesn't she? Do you love her? Of course I love her. More than Mrs. Barry? You said I could ask you anything in the world. When was that so rash? When we were playing the game. That was only in the game. Well, let's play the game now. I'm bored of winning drafts all the time. Anyway, what have you written down? Michael said, did father leave me anything in his will? I said, yes. Yeah. Disease of the liver. You never said that. Well, next time. Let's play the game. <coughs> who do you like best? Best of who? Me and Nico and Peter and Jack and George. Oh, and you're not allowed to say all the same. Jack. Yeah. Liar. Peter. Liar. Well, if you know the answer, why ask the question? I'd just like to hear you say it. You flatter yourself, don't you? What's the most exciting thing that's ever happened to you? Hmm. Hmm. The most exciting thing that's ever happened to me was... something beginning with him. Money? Besides money. Mother? Warmer. Michael! Oh. Please! You can see the 
stall, even me. But it is me, isn't it? Oh, do sit here. I won't tell anyone. All right. I think you need to confess it. Yes. Me. It's the most exciting thing that ever happened. Come here. Not you, mind. Me. But at least I'm the second most exciting thing on top. Oh, no. The second most exciting thing that ever happened to me was when a school friend of mine came running up to the house one day and told me that an old man who used to give us sweeties had slit his throat with a razor and if I hurried, I'd see the blood. Did you? Oh, it certainly did. It was just about the most thrilling thing I've ever seen. There was enough blood to make us black pudding for six months. Now it's my turn. Why don't you go skiing with the others? To be with you. Till death us do part. Hold out your wedding thing. Why? Go and blow a smoke ring on it. Fit with both boys. You speak for yourself. You're a boy, too. Well, <clears throat> I'm what is commonly known as grown-up. You're not common and you're definitely not grown-up. You're old, but you're not grown-up. You're one of us. How do you know? Because... Because I think if you were really a grown-up, you wouldn't waste all your money on a boy like me. You presume to know me very well, don't you? Inside out. Without a doubt. This is how I see the mystery of J. M. B. Quite the coming poet, ain't I? To be a poet is a great thing. But to be a poet and not to know it is the most glorious thing in the world. Besides, there's no money in poetry. Maybe not. There's a lot of poetry in money. Hello, Uncle Jim. I've had an absolutely spanking time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't never be any good at it as mine. Many fellows. What Gilbert the Filbert took his loose on Roche. And then we drove over to Montreux for lunch. <laughs> I got a bit tipsy. <laughs> Where's your mother? She's downstairs in the billiard room with the others. Come on, we're going to have a slosh tournament. Oh, I didn't love all that to bother you. No, I've still got a lot of work to do. Uh, so is Mr. Cannon. Well, don't be long. Well, has there been any news? Yes. Roman telegraphed to say the Lord Chamberlain had banned Grand Wabaka's play, so we'd better draft some sort of reply. Oh, that's wonderful. Really? It's just what we've been waiting for. You better go with George. I'll be done later. Can't I stay with you? You'd be wasting your time. Oh. There's no money in it. Oh. Michael! What's the matter? I don't want your money. Oh, I don't know. Is it the game we're playing? 